building for. All right, everybody, I'm going to go on and get started. Game Boy Troll, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Tiger's Den. What's up, Riley? Oh, I see you have your treat. Okay. So we're going to go on and get started with our Japanese lesson for today. So hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, no. Like, my camera's a little off. Let me let me fix this. Uno, uh, one, one moment. Like, this way? I think? Yes, there we go. Okay, so today <laughs> I was looking at the schedule and for those of you that are watching this video uh, after the fact, um, that's okay. Like today, <laughs> it's I feel like I could use more time to use today as a review more so than actually teaching something new because today's lesson is really, really short. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, let's go on and go on and talk about what we, we've already done. Uh, we've been focusing heavily, and I'm like, oh man, we have like 11 pages of notes already. This, this is great. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we talked about our vocabulary. We talked about our kanji. I feel like I, I need to start adding in more uh, kind of a reading and listening aspect. In fact, I'm going to do that today uh, based with the kanji and the grammar that we have learned. Uh, we learned about the two types of adjectives that are that exist in the Japanese language, and the first one is e adjectives. Uh, these are called e adjectives because they end with e. Uh, we also talked about how to use e adjectives. We uh, we we basically don't change the word when it is used to describe a noun or a thing or a person, like scary dog, kawaii inu, busy woman, or for woman is onna, nigiyak, isogashii onna. Boring movie, movie being eiga, sumaranai eiga. And then, of course, uh, using them in the sentence, I see a scary dog. Watashi wa kowai inu wo mimasu. Mary is a busy woman. Mary san wa isogashi onna desu. And then I saw a boring movie on Tuesday. And the keyword here is being on Tuesday, so. Kayobi ni watashi wa sumaranai eiga wo mimashita. Man, I, I can't like I keep I can't get over the fact of how much we've learned in here already, guys. We've learned so much. Uh, but sometimes you need to use the adjective at the end of your sentence. So instead of saying like Mary's a busy woman, uh, so, let me phrase that. Sometimes you don't end with a verb. So we're going to end with the adjective. So there are rules on how to do this, and we've gone over this for two days now. So again, like, isogashi desu, isogashi kunai desu, isogashi katta desu, isogashi kunakatta desu. Uh, and adjectives can be a lot of, quote unquote, fun to say when you are using them in the Japanese language. Uh, I'm just gonna briefly go over these. Then we have our na adjectives, this is our second one. The second uh, type of adjective. And na adjectives compared to e adjectives in regard to conjugation are very easy. Now I put the na in parentheses because quite often it is removed. Uh, but when you're describing a noun or describing something, you have to keep that na. So adjective na and the noun, the quiet town for machi, like shizuka na machi. Genki na otoko for uh, energetic boy or healthy man. Uh, clean room, kirei na heya. And then in sentences, this t quiet town is small. So kono shizuka na machi wa chisai desu. This quiet town is small. The healthy man is sensei. So like, genki na otoko wa sensei desu. And I have a clean room. Watashi wa kirei na heya ga And then, of course, you can end the sentence also. But like again, this in this case, we're removing na and replacing it with an with a verb. So shizuka des, shizuka janai des, shizuka deshita, or shizuka janakatta des, uh, depending on context. Uh, we reviewed this again uh, on the last uh, last Monday before my birthday stream on Wednesday. Uh, and then we started focusing on using, uh, stating what you like or dislike. Now, I gave you this frame, you get the object you like with ga, ski, or kirai desu. So like, inu ga ski desu. Watashi wa inu ga ski desu. Samui tenki ga ski desu. Genki na hito ga kirai desu. I don't like energetic people kind of thing. Yasai ga kirai desu. Like using ski or kirai. And uh, some of you that were in here were able to create some of these sentences uh, with me. Uh, then we started talking about degree expressions such as sugoku, totemo, or chotto. Uh, so like uh, for our samui tenki, Jesse-san uh, Jesse wa sugoku samui tenki ga suki desu. 
Uh, Sugoku Samui, like extremely cold weather. So Jesse likes extremely cold weather, which I, th that's kind of awkward, by the way, at this point. Like to like extremely cold weather, you would need like, do you mean like below zero? <laughs> you mean like freezing? <laughs> kind of, kind of uh, extreme temperatures. <laughs> Um, then we talk about Watashi wa nichiyobi ni chotto izukashikatta desu Like I was a little bit busy kind of thing So uh, using these de degree expressions with an adjective You can uh, further describe how your Sorry, how your days or how your What you're trying to talk about uh, remember, uh, the thing to remember is that skina and kiraina do not use degree expressions because they have their own special uh, special words Which skina to like to daiskina to love or to really like and then kiraina to dislike to dai kiraina to like to hate to super dislike uh, and that's really all that we got to last time so for today we're going to talk about the new stuff and like i said uh today's lesson is going to be extremely short <laughs> because there's not really much to do uh we're uh after today we're actually going to be finishing on chapter five uh that means we have time to uh, our next lesson potentially on wednesday we will be doing our kahoot and then fr I'm not sure if I'll do a lesson this Friday. I, I, I rarely I rarely have done lessons on Friday, uh, but um, we could start on chapter six on Friday, the last chapter of the Japanese one sequence. And then I'll be taking a, a break of less from lessons. Uh, if interest is still there, I will continue with the lessons uh, for Japanese two uh, maybe sometime in June when I have more time to be honest. So uh, because there's a lot that we've done with the elementary, the beginning Japanese, and then after we do chapter six, uh, I think that will give people some time to study up on the hiragana, katakana, and the kanji. Uh, before we start on the chap, uh, the Japanese two stuff for, uh, be uh, how would I say that? Beginners, second level Japanese. Just see how you do and welcome in. Uh, so let me go on and insert a table, because we're talking about new shit today, new things today. <laughs> uh, how is everybody doing? For those of you that are here, um, I know I've been talking this entire time. Uh, but like I, my day has been super super busy, so I'm hoping you guys have had a good day. So masho and oops, mashoka. Uh, this is masho, mashoka, and we're also going to be talking about counting flat objects. Oh no, guys! the disastrous counting of objects in Japanese. Uh, fortunately, counting flat objects is really easy, and it's a great introduction to counting in Japanese. Uh, we've learned about counting like time and minutes and days of the week, but we have not talked about cl counting flat objects. Uh, so we'll go on and do that. Uh, that will be our, one of our focuses for today. Uh, those of you lurking, welcome in. I hope you guys are having a good lurk. Uh, I just had a psychologist appointment scheduled for this weekend. It's online, so it's such a relief I don't have to travel there. Yes, I, 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 not having to travel to places. I, I've actually seen that as a benefit. I kind of miss staying home to do work. Um, not, not, not to say that working with in person with students is not has does not have its benefits but i do miss staying home <laughs> being able to stay home with my cats and my dogs and speaking of all oh, my cat my kids asleep all right so kyo wa today's day kyo wa nan nichi nan yobi desu ka um i'll start with the year uh nisen oh, me, sorry. nisen nijuichi nen uh kyo wa nan getsu desu ka nan gatsu desu ka but this place is pretty far away. Yeah. Uh, so, so, minasan, kyo, ga, uh, kyo wa nan gatsu desu ka? Uh, kyo is one of our vocabulary words. We actually know how to write kyo in kanji for today. Kyo wa shigatsu da. Hai, shigatsu da. Or, shi, uh, more politely, uh, shigatsu desu. So, shigatsu, kyo wa nan nichi desu ka? Nan nichi desu ka? In fact, here, I should put the word. Nan nichi desu ka? So, so, kyo wa nan nichi desu ka? Nijuroku nichi desu. Hai. So, nijuroku nichi. 
です。あそして今日はえっとねあ、何曜日ですか何曜日ですか Hi, get to your b i d e s and you're using the kanji to get to your b i d So, get to your b i d It is Monday. So, t e k i o w a Mazu, my show to my show car, or Oshete Agate Kure, Oshete Agemas. I will teach you about my show and my show car. Now, first of all, we talked about, in, we've already talked about、uh, sending an invitation in Japanese. So, we have already discussed how to invite someone to do something with you in Japanese.、Uh, who remembers?、Uh, like, would you like to watch a movie with me kind of thing? How did we conjugate this? For this, we use. How, how did we conjugate our verbs? Like,、um, would you like to watch a movie? We used what?、Uh, how did we conjugate the, for,、uh, the verbs? Like, would you like to watch a movie? In, with me. This was chapter three, I think? Maybe two. Yeah, I think it was three, like inviting.、Uh, the negation and question particle, yes. So, what does that, wh what does that look like, though? What does that look like? What's that? What, yeah,、uh, yeah what, what do we add at the end? We do need the question particles of ka, of course. It is masenka. So we use masenka for the verbs.、Uh, an example of this is.、Uh, Mimasenka. Actually, I can write this in kanji now. Mimasenka.、Uh, which is like、uh, invi invite, inviting to watch. Masho. Mashoka is more about saying, let's blank. Like, let us do this. And to make this, we conjugate the verbs by adding. No, I can't type it in. By adding. Mashol at the end. So let's practice conjugating first. So practice conjugating. I'm gonna give you guys some verbs and I want you to try in chat to either type them,、uh, type them into my shul. So let's, let's start with five. One, two, three. That, that's definitely not five, that's four.、Uh, but let's start with five and I'm gonna try to use like, some of our new verbs here too. So here we have do this, the verb and here we have the my shul form of the verb. So, if I give you the verb and let's use taberu. And I can use the kanji because we've learned it. Taberu turns into what? How would you say, like,、uh, let's eat? So we add masho to the end.、Uh, how would we change taberu to、uh, let's eat? Tabe masho! Hi! So this would be. Tabe masho. I like the exclamation point. Tabe masho. This means let's eat. That sounds really good right now. Let's eat.、Uh, what about,、uh, what about、um, nomu? And I could write that in kanji too. This means to drink. How would we do nomu? Yes, exactly. No me masho. Now that may seem simple, but nomu and taberu are different.、Uh, they're, obviously, they're different verbs, but one's a ru verb and the other's an u verb. So, no me masho. Which means, let's drink.、Uh, 
let's do Iku. Oops. Did we learn this kanji? I think we did. Did we learn Iku? To go. We did. Good. Okay, good. So, Iku. How do we say, let's go? I'm so happy to be using some of this kanji again. Ikimashou! Hai! Ikimashou! Ikimashou! Ikimashou. It means, let's go! And, like, this is used a lot, especially in anime. Ikimashou! Like, Super ni ikimashou! Let's go to the supermarket! Mina san, issou ni super ni ikimashou, ne? Um, let me think of another word. Um, what about... I use miru, so let's try miru again. Miru. Miru turns into what? And I'm purposefully using the kanji we've learned now. Miru. Hai, mimashou. Uh, just wait a I'm trying to open up the... Yeah, and those are our major verbs that we've learned. So, miru to mimashou. Uh, mimashou. Which means, let's watch. Or let's see. Uh, let's do another one. What's another verb we've learned? Um, oh, benkyo suru. We haven't learned the kanji for this one yet. Uh, but how would we do benkyo suru? This one may be a little challenging. Benkyo suru. To study. Benkyo suru. Benkyo suru. Hai, benkyo shimashou. Benkyo shimashou. Which means, let's study. Uh, so conjugating these is pretty simple. I, I, it, it seems like most of you guys have got the hang of it. Hey puppies. Like all my dogs are in my room now. So that's the case. Katie's taking a nap still. So for these, um, I'll say these, and I want you guys to repeat after me. Like, and, and I know this is not a Zoom call, so I can't hear you. Uh, we're also not in person. Uh, Asononics, welcome in. We're learning our new grammar form. Yes, it does have the same rule for all of these. So if you, uh, unlike the adjectives, which can be uh, annoying, uh, these will follow the same basic rule. And as long as you know how to conjugate your ru and your u verbs, you should be okay. Uh, so for taberu, for let's eat, repeat after me. Tabemashou. Tabemashou. Like sushi o tabemashou. Let's eat sushi. Neko o tabemashou. Let's eat cat. Please don't. Please don't eat cats. As a cat, I I I, I dis actually mm, no. I'm not gonna go that far. <laughs> uh, okay, so no move for to drink. Repeat after me. No mi mashou. No mi mashou. So like mizu o no mi mashou. Let's drink water. Or sak o sake o no mi mashou. Let's drink alcohol. If you're of age. Now, iku. Uh, repeat after me. Ikimashou. Ikimashou. Uh, we could say, um, hmm. Kouen ni ikimashou. Let's go to the park. I can even say mall. Moru ni ikimashou. Moru ni ikimashou. Let's go to the mall. <laughs> Today. <laughs> I would be like, Kyo moru ni ikimashou. Moru ni ikimashou. <laughs> oh my god, if you guys know um, where that's from, then good for you. <laughs> uh, for the next one, let's watch. Uh, repeat after me. Mimashou. 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 So let's say like anime o mimashou. Or sorry, I said I, I said that with English. Anime o mimashou. Anime o mimashou. Let's watch anime. And then last one. Benkyo shimashou. 
Benkyo shimasho. And this one's kind of a mouthful, so I'll keep saying it. Benkyo shimasho. And that means let's study. So if I said Nihongo o benkyo shimasho. Let's study Japanese. Nihongo o benkyo shimasho. Pretty simple stuff. Now to make these a question, um, of course, easily, of course, to make these a question, you can add ka at the end of this verb. So let's try this sentence. Um, practice. So if I said, let's go to the library. How would we say this in Japanese? Let's go to the library. Let's go to the library. And these are words that we have practiced already. Um, as a reminder, especially for students that are uh, just watching this video on YouTube, uh, how do we say library in Japanese? Uh, library wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Library wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Hi, toshokan. So, library, uh, if to make your sentence, toshokan. How would we say, let's go to the library? You are closed. Um, we're going to the library. So there's direction there. Uh, use particle de. Uh, de is more for like where something happens, the location. Uh, what should you change that to? Toshokan. What is our what is our particle for direction? Since we're going to the library. Yes, you can use uh, Toshokan. E ikimashou. Uh, for your masho, make sure you had that last u. So toshokan e ikimashou. Um, Asinonics is also correct. So toshokan ni also works. Ikimashou. Uh, I forgot that we can use this kanji now. So here. Oops. There we go. So toshokan e ikimashou or toshokan ni ikimashou. They mean the exact same thing. Uh, uh, number two. Uh, Niban. Let's try, um, shall we drink coffee at the cafe? Now this is a question, so uh, we're going to change this a little bit. Notice that we're talking about where we're going to drink something. So when you make this sentence, try to make, uh, make sure you're using the correct particles also. Shall we drink coffee at the cafe? Who remember, how do you say coffee in Japanese? Coffee wa nihongo de nanatsu ka? Coffee wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Hai, kohi. So, coffee, kohi desu. Oops. Kohi. Kohi ga suki desu ka? Watashi, uh, watashi wa kohi ga suki desu. Demo, ocha mo suki desu. I also like tea. Uh, so, shall we drink coffee at the cafe? Uh, that shall we could also be like, let's drink coffee at the cafe. Uh, but I think shall we is more uh, of the question the form of let's. So how would we make this sentence? Shall we drink coffee at the cafe? Uh, Hi, there we go. So our our location, de. we're using particle de uh, because this is where this is going to happen. Kohi o nomi nomi masho. I put that in kanji. Ka, and we need particle ka because this is a question this time. Yes. So kisa ten de kohi o nomi masho ka. Shall we drink coffee at the cafe? Kisa ten de kohi o nomi masho ka. This one's fun to say. So all right, um, and I, I realize I didn't give you guys a chance to repeat these. So let me go to number one real quick. Uh, so ichiban, watashi no ato repeat shite kudasai. Repeat after me. Toshokan e ikimashou. Toshokan e ikimashou. The second way you could say this: Toshokan ni ikimashou. Toshokan ni ikimashou. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out that show at the end uh, because uh, like I said I I'm trying to over exaggerate it so you can hear the differences. And so shite niban, uh, shall we drink coffee at the cafe? So repeat shite kudasai. Watashi no ato repeat shite kudasai. Kisa ten de kohi o nomi mashou ka? Because it's a question. Kisa ten de kohi o nomi mashou ka? And then put it together. Kisa ten de kohi o nomi mashou ka? Or even faster. Uh Now this one's gonna be tricky because I'm adding a time reference into this. Uh, shall we watch a movie on Friday? Uh, for review, what is movie? I, I, this was used earlier too. Who remembers what uh, movie wa nihongo de nandesuka? Movie wa nihongo de nandesuka? Mm -hmm. And you can check your vocabulary list if you guys want to. Hi, Ega. So, movie, Ega. Ega. And I just realized that I put this in katakana, so kohi, kohi. There we go. Uh, and then try to make this sentence in. Shall we watch a movie or shall we watch an Ega on Friday? Uh, personally, I like to start with the time reference. As a, as a hint, go in and start with the time reference. And I'm, I'm using that word, time reference, because you're specifically supposed to use a particle for this. Uh, because we're specifying on Friday. Uh, how would you build this sentence? So, Nihongo de kaite kudasai. Please write this in Japanese. Uh, do your best and try to type it in the chat. Hi, Jesse, let's go. Asinonics close. <laughs> uh, if you, just a spelling error. Uh, so for this, remember, our, what, our time reference particle is going to be ni. So we're gonna... Uh, um, tachi I think in, in this context, it's, it's kind of weird. Um... I mean, yes, we could, I suppose. Uh, kin yo yobi. Kin yobi ni for our time reference. We do need particle ni. Uh, shall we watch a movie on Friday? We, you could, like, watashi wa eigo mi mashoka for, like, we, and then shall, let's watch, and then question, shall we watch? So I guess you could put that. Um, I'll put. What? Oh my god. What Tashi? Tachi. Uh, tachi turns I to we. What uh, Tachi? What? Then we have. Oops. Oops. Ega. Oh, mi ma shoka. And I'll put that in kanji. So yes. Kinyobi ni watashi tachi wa ega o mi ma shoka. But in this case, you could take out the watashi tachi wa. And like honestly, especially if you're talking with a friend, um, at this point you probably don't need this. Uh, so for this one, repeat after me, guys. 
So, kin yobi ni eiga o mimashou ka? Kin yobi ni eiga o mimashou ka? And then put them together. Kin yobi ni eiga o mimashou ka? Kin yobi ni eiga o mimashou ka? And of course, like if you do add this in here, kin yobi ni. Watashitachi wa eiga o mimashou ka? Like, you, you could put this in here, but I think, especially in context, it may be kind of strange if you're already talking with friends. Any questions on, well, on this? Mashouka for, like, let's. Just don't be like, shini mashouka, let's die. Shall we die together? Oh, that actually, that reminds me. Um, not the dying part, by the way. <laughs> so, where's my... Hold on. There we go. Sometimes, you can start the sentences with... Ishoni. Ish I gotta check my spelling on this one. Ishoni. Uh, yeah, like I need to check my spelling. Okay, so uh, yes, there's no u. So ishoni or ishoni, um, which means together. So we'll do example number four here. Yes, example number four. No, no, stop it. Example number four. Um, let's eat sushi together. How would we say this one? Shinimashou ka? What, issho ni? Let's eat sushi together. And I'm actually going to start with this because when you use issho ni, you, you generally start it at, as the first thing you say. So for this case, it'd be issho ni. And I'll try to finish the sentence. Uh, while you guys are working on that, I forgot to put the uh, the romanji for these sentences. I'll do that now for other people. Oops, I'm pushing. I'm pushing some weird, weird buttons. How how would you say? Let's eat sushi together. I gave you the first start part for together. Isho. Ishoni? Yeah, Zarek, that's what I was thinking too. Uh, it is it, it is a bit redundant. Hi, Jesse, that's right. Ishoni sushi o tabemashou. Tabemashou. So, ishoni, ishoni sushi o tabemashou. Let's eat sushi together. Yeah, like, I, that's why I was, like, thinking, like, I, this part, it, you can say it, but it is kind of weird. Because it's already assumed that you're talking about together. Um, let's do one uh, one more example. Uno mas. Uh, uno mas. Uh, mo ichiro. One more. Or one more time. Mo hitotsu. There, that's what, I, that's what I'm looking for, the phrase. Mo hitotsu. Issho ni sushi o tabemashou. Um, I'm going to try to make this one a little difficult. Let's meet in front of the bus stop at 1 o'clock p.m. There is a lot happening in this sentence. Let's meet in front of the bus stop at 1 o'clock p.m. <laughs> Give me 10 minutes. <laughs> so like I said, um, there is a lot happening in this sentence, and we've learned all of it. Uh, what is bus stop in Japanese, by the way? What is the bus stop?
And you can check vocabulary if you guys don't remember. What is bus stop in Japanese? Hey, bus take, bus take. It sounds like birthday. Basu tei, bus day. So this will be, oops, basu tei for bus stop. Yeah, this one, this one's gonna be a challenge. Hello, uh, Linavia. Uh, so I like to, like, uh, I like to start. I always like to start with a time reference. Um, so how would I say at one o'clock p.m.? Hello, welcome in. How would I say, uh, so those of you in here, how would I say at one o'clock p.m.? What is p.m.? So like, let's build this sentence together. So we're gonna build it. Let's start with our time reference. What is at, uh, how would you say one o'clock? Yes, so we have go go for p.m. Ichi ji ni. So ichi ji, we learn in kanji ni. So we have our time reference. Go go ichi ji ni. Um, I see what you're trying to do there, Jesse. The kanji's wrong <laughs> for, uh, um, you said, um, how would I say that? You, you actually flipped it. So we now have our time reference. Now we need our location in front of the bus stop. Uh, so we're talking about the bus stop. We're talking about the bus stop. So we actually need to start with the bus stop. Uh, so how would you say that instead? In front of the bus stop. And I'm going to highlight these. because I'm going to show you how we're building this. We'll put our time reference in green. In front of the bus stop. We'll put this in yellow. So start with the start with your um, reference place. Our reference is the bus stop. So how do we start first? Yes, that is correct. Bus stay no mai. The bus, bus day, no my. So there is our there's our reference here, and I'm gonna highlight this because this is this is our uh, this is our location. Remember when uh, we're talking about the um, location of something in English in front of the bus stop, but in Japanese you use your landmark first before you show anything else. Our landmark is the bus stop. So bus day no my. What is our verb to meet? And this was from last chapter. It's one of our special verbs. What is our verb to meet? And I'm gonna put this one in red. And while you guys are doing that here, let's, let's do this. Go, go. Oops. Go, go. Ichi, ichi ji ni. Basu de no mae. Uh, go go ichi ji, uh, so go go ichi ji ni baste no mae de aimashou. You got both you and Zarek have similar answers, and you're really close. There is a problem with it though, and it's your particle. What particle must you use with uh, with the verb out? And this this is a this is technically an unwritten rule, but it's it was there in the vocabulary. What? Particle must you use with out? You, you you use the you use you're using the correct verb, but there is a special particle we must use. It's not de. Let me see if I can find it in the old notes. Actually, Zarek, that doesn't help. Which one? <laughs> you can't just give me two. <laughs> Let's see. If I open the if I open the Discord, let's look at the notes. Uh, Japanese one resources. I'm gonna look at chapter four because I do remember I used it here. Here we go. Did I not use it? I could have I could have sworn. No, huh. We definitely used it for this one. Okay, let me see if I can find it in the vocabulary. <laughs> There's Al. 
Uh, here's our vocabulary. And notice the person what? Person what? Particle... Jesse, yes, particle knee. So when using owl to meet or to like see a person, uh, you must use particle knee because you're going, there's direction. And, uh, technically, there's direction to that. You're going to meet with someone. You're going to see somebody. Uh, so for this, let's uh, knee. Oops. Uh, ma e. I'm going to turn the highlight off. Ma e. Knee. Oops. Again. Knee. I must show, and you guys did use the conjugate the verb correctly. So ni I must show. So this is how we built this sentence. Notice how in English into Japanese we kind of basically just reversed it. So go go ichiji ni baste no mae ni I must show. Let's meet in front of the bus stop at one o'clock. Uh, so let's say this one together, and I'll say this one slowly, and then we'll do it quickly. So, minasan, repeat shite kudasai. Please repeat after me. Go go ichiji ni baste no mae ni aimashou. Go go ichiji ni baste no mae ni aimashou. And then quickly. Go go ichiji ni baste no mae ni aimashou. Go go ichiji ni baste no mae ni aimashou. Um, Jesse, uh, small comment. Um, and this not just for you, but make sure uh, when writing in Japanese, you also end it with a period or the Japanese period. Uh, one more time. Go go ichiji ni baste no uh baste no mae ni aimashou. I like this sentence because like it's a it's a short it's a simple sentence but we I, I still we still used like a lot of everything that we've learned in this sentence we have our time reference we have our locate uh, uh, location and reference spots uh, uh, what is that our um, what are those words called uh, our prepositional phrases we also have our new verb here along with uh, the new verb conjugation. So, like, a lot happened in this sentence. But we, at this point, we are capable of saying sentences like this. Uh, any questions on using mashou or mashouka? Uh, is it possible that it would have said, uh, no maya de ni ai mashou? No, because, um, like the deni doesn't work. <laughs> uh, and it's mostly because of the verb. Now, if we were going to say, let's eat in front of the bus stop, then yes, we would. But because of our verb, uh, it, it would be like, gogo ichiji ni baste no ma de tabemashou. Let's eat in front of the bus stop. But. Because the verb meet requires that particle, uh, de gets replaced. So it will be uh, my ni aimashou. Like this is one of those, uh, it's, the verb, if there are specific rules for a verb, it will trump most other particles in this case. And then the last thing we're going to learn today, and this, this is actually going to be kind of quick. <laughs> Uh, but counting flat objects. So, I don't, wait, I don't want this to be highlighted. So here we go. Counting flat objects in Japanese. And I know you guys have heard from me multiple times. I hate counting in Japanese. It is frustrating. But in this case, do not fear. Counting flat objects is really easy. <laughs> it's really easy in Japanese. Here is the rule, and I'll make the table, and I'll show you guys just how easy this is. So you're gonna have, here, let me center this up. Number here, plus, and then our counter for flat objects counter for flat objects. 
And this is going to be my. And that's really it. <laughs> this is, that, that's the rule. But the thing is, what is a flat object? <laughs> so, flat objects are things like paper. Um, I would say cell phone, but I think there's a different counter because it's an electronic device. Uh, so like paper, um, cards. What else is flat? Not the earth. <laughs> uh, let's, like even like a pillowcase, because that's pretty flat. Uh, there's a counter for machines, electronics, like for cell phones. That is, I believe it's die, the counter. But like, if you were counting, like, let's generally, or uh, you can even use this for like uh, paper money, kind of thing. So if I wanted to say like, I have, so let's practice. I, sorry, I, I can't, I can't type. I have one sheet of paper. Uh, first of all, paper is uh, kami. I have one sheet of paper. So for in this case, um, because I'm using I have, uh, we're gonna have to use ga aru, like ga arimasu. So we could say watashi wa Uh, I like to use my counter. Ichi mai. I'm not gonna use the kanji yet because we haven't learned. Watashi wa ichi mai kami ga arimasu. Watashi wa ichi mai kami ga arimasu. That's really simple, isn't it? Like, watashi wa ichi mai kami ga arimasu. Uh, you could flip uh, kami and ichi mai though, so you could also say watashi wa ich uh, watashi wa kami ga ichi mai arimasu. Ichi mai kami ga arimasu. Hi, don't forget the period. Yeah, yeah, I see it there. Okay, watashi wa ichi mai kami ga arimasu. Good. Um, I'm still gonna use paper because paper is pa paper is paper simple. Um, there are five pieces of paper. We're still using paper um, on top of the desk. So there's a lot going on in this sentence. There are five pieces of paper on top of the desk. Now there are, this is actually the verb, this is still ga'arimasu. There exist five pieces of paper on top of the desk. Uh, who what is desk in Japanese? Who remembers? What is desk? What is desk in Japanese? And while you guys are working on that, uh, yes, skue. So desk, skue. Zara, thank you for that hydrate. I'll do that now. So while, um, I want to see what you guys can do. You should be able to do this sentence with just this. Uh, remember, there are, or I have, still use, it's still the same thing, gaarimasu. So this is our verb, uh, gaarimasu. Try to type this into Japanese. And while you're doing that, I will be right back brief, real quick.
Okay, so I just realized as you're writing that, I just realized something. Um, and I'm sorry. Um, as an artist, you're really close. But um, I have is ga arimas, whereas the there are like in location actually ni arimas. That was my mistake, and th that is something we went over too. Like if it's on at a location, like a soko ni arimas, like it's over there. Uh, so in this case, you said go my kami. We're gonna start with that. Uh, go my kami. Uh, I think it's go my kami ga. Let me let me double check. Let me check the chapter four notes. Here we go. What did we say? We did counters. This is four, right? Yes. The place, so the object, go my kami. Hmm. Square no ue, so place square no ue ni neko ga imas. Oh, I see why. Okay, so the thing, this this is from before. I see, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna flip the order order around. So I said that there were um, on top of the desk. So we're gonna start with the location. Let's actually start with the location on top of the desk. Uh, so how do, uh, you said on top of the desk was Skue no ue. Yes. So we'll keep that. Skue no ue. But it's actually ue ni for the location. Skue no ue ni. Then you have go my kami. Ga. Uh, arimas. So I think you had it. Actually, go my kami. Kami ga skue no ue ni arimas. So you, like you had most of the thing. I think it was just mostly the order. Um, you could flip these around like. Yeah, you were just missing the ni particle. So, skue no ue ni, go mai kame ga arimasu. Or you could say, go mai kame ga skue no ue ni arimasu. Uh, the verb's still at the end, but you could have, like, you were just missing particle ni and you could have just flipped them around. I, I Like, in your example, you did flip them around. So, yeah, you, you had it. It's, it's just the order. And as you're doing that, I, I, I actually have myself some karaage, and I'm going to eat a little bit of my karaage. Uh, Skue no ue ni gomai kami ga arimasu. Hai! Ew, man. Is this ranch? Why would you give ranch with karaage? Oh my god. All right, guys, and at this point, sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we're actually done with chapter five. Everybody, yay, we finished chapter five. Um, are there any questions on how to count flat objects? This means on Wednesday, we, we could do a Kahoot. Um, I'm actually not going to do... Uh, now that I think about it, I'm super busy this week with work. Uh, my school is being re-evaluated. Uh, it's being evaluated for re-accreditation. So basically, I'm like stuck in meetings until like 4 o'clock. So like I came home at 4-ish. And I was like, oh my god, I'm not prepared to teach today. But fortunately, I was. Uh, so this Friday, I'm not sure what we're going to... Maybe we'll have a Kahoot. I don't think I'll have one made though. It's a problem. Okay, here's the thing. I will make the kahoot. I'll make the kahoot um, to practice for the review or quote unquote the test. Please look especially at conjugating the adjectives because that's the hardest part. Uh, please look into talking like conjugating the adjectives. Uh, please look into how do you uh, using this frame here. How do you exp uh, express things that you like or dislike in Japanese? 
uh, invite, uh, say, let's do something, count flat objects, and conjure... Yeah, that's basically it. This was... I feel like this chapter was pretty short. Um, I will be putting practice questions in... I, 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 I say this all the time. I will be putting practice questions into the Discord. I will try my best to put the practice in the Discord. <laughs> Um, even when we are done with the Japanese one lessons, I'm going to be putting more examples there. So, soro ze kore wa. So, like, even though after chapter six, we'll be done with Japanese one, and I'll be taking a break. Uh, I think it may be a one month break. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, because uh, in June, I will be going back, I'll, I'll be on my summer vacation, and I feel like I could spend more time to focus on... Uh, the Japanese 2 stuff, because the Japanese 2 stuff gets pretty demanding. <laughs> uh, but mostly I'll be putting listening, maybe even um, listening, reading, and potentially writing uh, attempt uh, practice in the Discord. Um, that's going to be it for today, guys. Let me see, who, who can we rate out to? Who is streaming right now? Uh, I don't know if Foxes is streaming just yet. I know... Um, Kitsuneko is probably is definitely not streaming just yet. I know she's probably still at work. Um, I'm probably gonna write out to zero. Not gonna lie, because like he's playing Super Metroid, and I really want to watch Super Metroid. I love I love Metroid. I love Samus. I love Super Metroid. So I think we're going to do that. Um, so our raid message is: Let me double. Let me make sure he's not raiding out anytime soon. Oh no, he's still playing. Okay. Our raid message is going to be, um... Oh, is Zarek streaming right now too? Zarek, I don't see you streaming right now. Did you just start? Oh no, I said a zero, zero. So our raid match is gonna be um, super Wolf K Troy, just like this. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming in. I know today was pretty short. I normally like go to like 6.30, but like we're, we finished, <laughs> we're done. Uh, please review the notes if you can, uh, especially the vocabulary, because the vocabulary is heavy on the adjectives that we're going to be using in our Kahoot review. Um, I just realized I made the raid message, but I didn't set up the raid. There we go. All right, thank you guys for coming in. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>